Wow. Crazy. You're crazy, girl. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Habadi Go, where we are simply on a journey to improving health, improving well being, being out there and challenging ourselves by setting body goals, planning for them, and smoking with regards to fitness. So, in today's video, we'll be talking about belly fat, how I lost my belly fat from this. To this so stay tuned yeah like I said I will be sharing with you 10 tips 10 tips on how you can lose belly fat a disclaimer although I'm saying I've lost belly fat I still have some fupa fupa is like a lower part of the the tummy so don't worry about that it goes eventually so it's a process so however in this video i'm basically going to be sharing with you 10 tips of how i lost belly fat overall like the upper belly and the sides the obliques and all that so let's get into it tip number one is portion control so i don't know if you've watched most of my videos i always talk about the the hand as a way of you measuring your food portions so you have the carbs, you have the fat, the main nutrients, that is the, the fat, the vegetables, the protein, and the carbohydrates. So you basically use your hand to portion your food. So portion control is very key in trying to lose belly fat because you don't want your tummy to always feel bloated or be bloated. So as you control what you are eating and the portions, that will definitely help you and lose your belly fat. Tip number two is eating in smaller quantities. You don't want to eat your whole meal in one plate, but rather spread out your meals into tiny portions throughout the day. Personally, I eat like five to six uh, meals. That is not, not like a whole plate. I mean like portions. So I have my breakfast. I'll try and insert it here so you can have an idea. So there's like breakfast, there's snack one, there's lunch, snack two, there's dinner, and there's like usually tea in the evening. So that's like spreading out your meals into tiny portions, five meals a day. That will help you um, eat less, eat less calories, and just spread out your meals so you don't overload yourself by eating one whole meal. And it also improves your metabolism, your digestion as well. So spreading out your meals into five definitely is something that has helped me and can help you if you're trying to lose belly fat. Uh, tip number three is sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. You definitely are going to have to reduce on sugar intake, not completely zero because at the end of the day, you still want to ensure that you maintain your sugar levels. So personally, I took out stuff like adding sugar to my tea and i'll just have my tea like that i also reduced on the cakes the sugary foods as well and ensuring that i consume natural sugar through fruits so if you are really considering losing belly fat i think that should be a tip you consider reducing your sugar intake heat workouts so for me, I incorporated heat workouts at the end of my usual workout routine. So I would spend like 20 minutes at the end of my workout session and just do heat workouts. Heat workouts, which simply means high intensive interval training. So you're doing that for 20 minutes, five times a week. That will help you overall reduce belly fat. I want you to understand also that you cannot spot reduce fat. So it's not like you doing crunches will help you lose just that fat you have. Rather, it will help you tone that if you already have the flat tummy, you get toned better if you are doing the crunches and all that if you don't have fat, a layer of fat on your tummy. But if you are trying to lose belly fat, heat workout should be your number one incorporation in throughout your workout routine so five times a week is what i was doing or what i still do because we're still dealing with some fupa right yes 
And tip number, we are number what, Tracy? <laughs> six. Oh my God. <laughs> tip number six is swapping processed food for whole grain foods, replacing your white carbohydrates with brown whole grain foods that will definitely help you because one they keep you fuller and two they are more healthier so you are rather going to benefit more if you're eating whole grain and like the processed foods so that's a tip you should incorporate as well then increase your greens increasing your greens simply means increasing your vegetables that will definitely help you feel full first of all and provide you with the nutrients that your body needs the fact that you are feeling full you are eating lots of greens and all that enables you not to eat like wrong food so yes greens will definitely help you if you're trying to lose belly fat by increasing your your greens you increase your fiber as well making your digestion even smoother and quicker that helps you avoid feeling bloated number eight which is my favorite also is that you have to improve your activity you don't just have to sit in one place and you're like oh i want to lose weight you have to i want to lose belly fat because belly fat is simply fat right so you also have to ensure that you are burning calories by being active don't just be a couch potato work around the house take a walk the more you are active the more you are burning calories as a result you are going to lose that belly fat so being active is key aside just you working out you also have to be very active take the stairs instead of the elevator take a walk instead of always driving and just ensure you are active ensure you are washing your own dishes ensure you are packing up by that you burn more calories okay <laughs> tip number nine we are number nine almost done actually so tip number nine is if you really want to lose your belly fat, you also have to stay away from carbonated drinks. Stay away from alcohol, especially the beers. Why? Because they are very high in calories and you want to be in a calorie deficit. If you don't know what calories are and it just sounds like I'm speaking Arabic, I'll link um, the video I made on understanding calories so you have that knowledge so make sure you watch that video yeah so like i was saying um the alcohol has high calories especially cocktails because they literally make they literally pour out the undiluted juice then the alcohol making it really packed in calories if you are trying to lose belly fat you have to stay away from that till you see the results and then slowly incorporate it maybe to like weekly occasionally drinking so that you see the consistent so that the consistency can help you lose that belly fat okay and finally the last tip that i had for you guys which is tip number 10 is you have to understand that the difference between a cheat day and a fun meal so most of the times it's like we are consistent throughout the week and because it's weekend you feel like you can eat whatever you can remember your body can only show you the results that you want to see if you are consistent if you are consistent in eating healthy you're consistent in your meal plan or your diet so if you are going to lose um, belly fat you also have to understand that junk food is not going to be helpful to you what you can just do is maybe incorporate a fun meal i prefer to call it a fun meal because nobody's cheating on anyone when we say cheat meal so what you are doing is you incorporate maybe you pick a day through the week when you decide to eat whatever meal you can during your lunch or your dinner so you choose one it's not throughout the day but rather you choose one that will help you maintain your consistency as well as be in the calorie deficit that you need to be for you to lose 
belly fat like i said belly fat cannot be spot reduced it's not like i'm just going to work out on my tummy for me to lose weight you have to be consistent with what you are eating which is more important than even thinking of how you are working out so number one focus on your diet and number two is yes be active so guys that's basically what i wanted to share with you in this week's video like i always say you set the body goal you plan for it and then you smash it so this video is to help you if you really want to get rid of belly fat you have to set that goal and you have to plan for it and then you smash it that's basically it for me until my next video bye cut 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 <laughs> Tracy, and then I find you are not recording. <laughs>